Welcome to my heart to hearts. As you know, the last couple of weeks, my heart to hearts were real serious of nature. I thought today I'm just going to share with you a lighthearted heart to heart. You know, this week has gone so fast, and I'm really enjoying the Christmas time of the year. I'm really enjoying all the crafts and all the fun that goes with Christmas. My thrifty Thursday was simply amazing. I actually overspent. I spent twelve dollars, but. I shared with you some of the fun things that I got this week at the Thrifty Thursday. <laughs> you know, laughter is like medicine. And while we have serious subjects in life, sometimes it's just fun to laugh a little. I'm going to name her Ginger. <laughs> Brings me to my heart to heart. Through the course of the years, I've become really amazed at who likes my videos. Did you know that people's pets love my videos. I've had a pet bird who loves my videos. I've had some cats. I've had some dogs. I had some rabbits that liked my videos. <laughs> I even had some wild animals like my videos. I had a bird. I had some crickets that would always start chirping when they heard my videos. Through the years, people have came to me and told me stories about their pets and how their pets sit up on their lap and watch my videos with them. Maybe it's my high-pitched sound that I make when I'm happy, like, Hi, everybody! Pets like my voice. Sometimes they like my voice even more than humans do, and I think it's rather touching. I receive some photos of people who watch my videos. Some people watch my videos in the evening. They watch me like they would watch a TV series. Many times when I get in front of the camera, I try not to think about these things because it would make me way too nervous if I thought about all the thousands of people that are watching me. Some people watch me on little phones, little phones like this. Some people watch me on big TVs. In fact, I have a photo of a big TV with me on. That makes me really nervous. But through the years, I've been blessed by having so many photos from people, photos about me and their life, and how I've come into their life and into their home. It's been a unique journey. I'm almost at three years. On December 20th, I will be on this platform three years. And for almost three years, I had a dream, and I had a vision, and I had a wish. Many days, I was discouraged and thinking it would never happen in my life. It's just not meant for me. And I became content in knowing that these things may not ever happen for me. We all have dreams in our life. We all have wishes. Sometimes they come true, and a lot of times they don't. But we need to learn to be content in all of them. Two weeks ago, my dreams started coming true. And as the taping of this video, my dreams are still coming true. I don't know why. But I know that it's exciting for me. And I know that all the hard work is paying off. I came to this platform in the beginning as a girl who wanted a friend. My husband worked 90 hours a week. My children were all married and have children of their own. And while I spend my time with them, I'm not with them on a daily basis. My husband was a workaholic. He spent all of his time working away. And I was at home because I'm a homebody. So my son talked me into turning the camera on and after some tearful videos that I threw away, here I am, Homestead Tessie. <laughs> and two years later, my husband had a hard fall and he hit his head really hard. After that, things were a little different for him. He got really tired easy and work became harder. So he started giving some of his work to our children. And as the year went on, he gave more and more work. And suddenly, my life was different. Not only 
was my life different, but my home life was different. My husband was home more and I wasn't alone, but then all of a sudden YouTube became a place where I could earn an income. Imagine that, a homemaker who never earned a penny in her t whole entire life make an income on multimedia. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So my videos turned into be a place where I could find friendship and then a place where I can find friendship and kindness and love and a little income on the side. God has blessed me through this platform. Every single day I wake up and I thank God. Every single day. I have never once taken this platform for granted because I know tomorrow it could go away. There are many laws and regulations coming to YouTube. COPPA law. I decided to take away all of the videos that had my grandchildren in it. I probably didn't have to do that, but I did it as precautions. Those videos will be memories of ours, and we will keep them forever in our family. But they're no longer on YouTube. And it really got me thinking that maybe they shouldn't have been on in the first place. You don't know the world outside our four walls. So a lot of you have got to meet my grandchildren, and I really want to thank you so much for that. But they won't be in any more videos from now on. But you will see my children, and as my grandchildren grow, of course you will see them when they're a little older. My oldest grandchild will soon be 10, and when she reaches 13, then I'll start having them back on my videos. Just the world we live in. It's just the rules that are made. So, it's nice to have laughter in your life. I have some videos that are really silly, and at the end of this video, I'll share with you those videos. You know, laughter is like medicine, and it's good to laugh, and it's good to think on positive things, and have fun in your life. It doesn't matter if you're 15, 5, or 50. These things we need to always hold dear in our life. I know this holiday season, a lot of people are finding themselves really sad, reminiscing of the memories of loved ones that have long gone, a lot of loved ones that are no longer in my life, but they hold a place in my heart and in my memories forever. And I want to encourage you to keep their memory alive, but not the sadness, keep the happiness alive. Do something a little for yourself this Christmas, whether it's just putting up a small little Christmas tree or buying yourself a special treat, something you enjoy. Remember, your loved ones want you to be happy. They don't want you to be sad. They're living in heaven and they're happy and joyous. And that's what they want you to be. Soon be 50 years old. And I soon will have a new year. My birthday is almost right after the new year. And so January, we celebrate the new year and I always celebrate a birthday. <laughs> oh. Every year I have a word for the beginning of the year and I don't know what my word is yet this year. Last year was prepare. The year before that was grace. I'll let you know, come January, what this year's word is going to be. I don't know. I'll leave you with this. I hope today that you're finding yourself feeling blessed and happy. And put a smile on your face. Because you know what? A smile is a frown turned upside down. And you know what? Smile, it makes other people wonder what you're thinking. And you know what? If you smile, even when you don't feel like it, all of a sudden, it changes your disposition in life. And it also changes your perspective. So it's not just, not just smiling helps the other person. It helps yourself in turn. Like a lot of families, through our years growing up, we would get our Christmas presents and put them under the tree. But my husband and I we really never got presents for each other. It just was something we weren't used to doing. We always spend our time and our energy on our children. The years gone by and our house is empty. We still don't really buy each other anything for Christmas. It's just something we've never gotten used to. And then last year on YouTube, I had a few people that gave us some gifts to put under the Christmas tree. It seems so unusual, but I admit it was a lot of fun. Well, this year I received yesterday a packet in the mail and it was from Christy. And there's a few things I can open now, but <laughs> she wrapped some gifts to put under the Christmas tree. 
Now, I've never shared this story at all online or with anybody, so she just figured that it would be nice to have some presents under a Christmas tree. So once again, we have some presents to put under our Christmas tree. And she even has some for Chevy Man, which I thought was so dear and unique. So Christy, here we go. We are going to go and we are going to put them under the Christmas tree. <laughs> I feel like a kid again. Well, there you go. There they are under the Christmas tree. Open a few of these gifts that Christy gave. Isn't this unique? She gave me material. <laughs> Take a look at that. Isn't that adorable? Well, you know what that's going to be. Those of you who watch my videos, you know what I'm going to do with that. Oh, this is so neat. <laughs> so you're celebrating a little bit of Christmas with me. Look at this. Autumn blessings. Isn't that unique, Autumn Blessings? Isn't that special? In fact, I'm going to put this in a basket because this is really, really, really neat. I love stuff like this. It's brown. You know I like brown. And isn't this unique? This is to put onions in it in the refrigerator. It's Tupperware. I don't really have any Tupperware. I love it. Oh my goodness, she got me things I can use right now, huh? And more material. This one is... This one is... Isn't that unique? It's curtains. Oh my word, I am going to like put this up right away. That is adorable. It is curtains in... I love it! Isn't that neat? Look, a rice bag. Woohoo! Thank you so much, Christy. That is so very, very kind of you.